Hi, and welcome back to Hardware Unboxed. I'm your host, Matt, and today I'm going to be taking a look at how the current generation AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards tackle Bethesda's highly anticipated Fallout 4. Finally, Fallout 4 is here and fans of the series can begin to roam the big open post-apocalyptic world, navigating their way around or through the labyrinth of bloatflies, blood bugs, raiders and all other kinds of nasty stuff. But before you're ready to throw yourself into the nuclear fallout, a quick look at the recommended system specs as advised. The developers put forth some rather demanding hardware requirements, especially for the ultra quality settings. Assuming you're anything like me, you want to enjoy Fallout 4 in all of its glory, and that means cranking the visual settings right up to the max. For this, Bethesda recommends either a Core i7-4790K or FX9590, along with a GeForce GTX 780 or Radeon R9290X. Yikes. For those of you considering upgrading to a current gen mid-range to high-end graphics card for Fallout 4, we've run some benchmarks to show you what kind of performance you can expect. The minimum and average frame rate was recorded using Fraps at the popular 1080p resolution, as well as 1440p and 4K. The maximum in-game quality settings were used at each resolution, and we selected the Temporal Anti-Aliasing Mode, otherwise known as TAA. One thing that does kind of suck about the game is the 60fps cap. Thankfully, it can be manually switched off in a config file in the My Games folder. For more information on how to do this, please check the video description below. Benchmarking takes place in the Commonwealth, the pre-war American state of Massachusetts in New England. The benchmark pass runs for 90 seconds, and here's a recording of that very pass. We set the difficulty to very easy to avoid being killed by the raiders, and we took the same path each time. The results have been taken from an average of three runs. Finally, for a full list of the system specs and software used, please refer to the video description below. Fallout 4 was very playable at 1080p with the GTX 960, which happened to be 11% faster than the Radeon R9 380, not something we often find. Still, with an average of 56 frames per second and never dipping below the 46 FPS mark, the 380 still provided a very solid gaming experience, especially when keeping in mind the quality settings we were using. The sweet spot for optimal performance would have to be the R9 390 and GTX 970, both of which managed to keep the frame rate above 60 FPS at all times. Moving up to 1440p, we see that the GTX 960 and R9 380 really struggle, and the gameplay was noticeably choppy. The GTX 970 and R9 390 provided smooth gameplay as neither dropped below the 40fps mark and had an average of 56 frames per second. The 390X wasn't noticeably faster than the 390 and both dipped down to the same minimum frame rate. At the 1440p resolution, an argument could be made that the GTX 980 is the best value graphics card as it sits between the Fury and the Fury X in terms of performance. The 980 Ti was shockingly fast with an average of 89 FPS and a minimum of 81 FPS, making it 35% faster than the standard GTX 980. Those who want to play at 4K with all the eye candy turned up will need a 980 Ti, and even then we still feel like SLI is called for. As is often the case with the latest AAA titles, 4K gaming will require the use of two or more GPUs. Visually, Fallout 4 isn't ridiculously impressive. The texture quality and graphical detail certainly isn't mind-blowing when compared to other recently released games, such as The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt or Battlefield Hardline. 
That said, it is important to remember that Fallout 4 is an open world game with truly massive environments, a lot of variety, and when turned all the way up, the view distances are truly spectacular. On that note, if you're looking to gain a little extra performance in Fallout 4, we found one of the biggest performance boosters was to reduce the view and shadow distance to the medium value. This alone should net you around 20% more performance depending on the setup. Unlike Black Ops 3, we found that Fallout 4 wasn't a memory pig and gamers with 8GB of RAM or more would be more than comfortable. In fact, we didn't see a performance hit or any stuttering even when using just 4GB of RAM. For 1080p gaming with everything turned up, the GTX 960 is the best budget option, while the GTX 970 will deliver the best experience. That said, the R9 390 provided almost the same result as the GTX 970, so either option will work well at 1080p. The performance hit seen when moving up to 1440p was quite large, and we recommend a GeForce GTX 980 here for optimal performance. The Radeon R9 390 or GeForce GDX 970 will work quite nicely as well. Although Fallout 4 doesn't feature cutting edge visuals, those massive draw distances mean that the 4K resolution demands some serious firepower. The 980 Ti works quite well, though a pair of GTX 980s or Fury graphics cards will be required for a completely lag-free experience. Overall, Fallout 4 looks like a heap of fun and I can't wait to explore more of the open world. As always, we'll be posting these graphs and a text summary up to our forum at hardwareunbox.com. If you've got any questions at all, then please let me know in the comments. And for more videos like this, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.